Hello everyone, welcome again. Uh, as you probably remember, a few years ago we had uh, uh, the premiere of a famous uh, movie about the American uh, Sherman tank, which was called The Fury. And Wargaming was uh, really, really close, uh, connected with, uh, with the producer of, the, of, this, of this movie. And then they launched, uh, soon they launched uh, the pro promotional action uh, in both of, uh, of his games in World of Tanks and World of Tanks Blitz and then we had introduced um, a copy of American uh, Sherman tank uh, remodeled and reskinned for the for, um, Fury tank from the movie and today we have uh, another offer, another chance to, to buy this tank because in 24 hour pop-up offer today we have uh, the Fury with uh, one month of uh, premium account and all equipment slots unlocked for 24 pounds or dollars which is quite expensive and that the tank was always expensive probably the most expensive <laughs> tier 6 premium tank in the game and probably is, is it has uh, some value only for uh, for uh, extreme collectors in the game because for a uh, regular player who, who is looking for a normal premium tank to buy the premium tank this offer is is way too expensive and also for me you know in my opinion the offer is much 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 too expensive and what we have for for, for our money here here we have both tanks compared. In the first row we have uh, the Sherman Fury. In the second row we have uh, Sherman regular Sherman M4A3E8, which is called Easy 8 from regular tank from the Tech Tree. And as you can see, they all look pretty much the same. Uh, there's a couple of really small difference. The first one is DPM 2150 on uh, Fury against now 1993, 1993 on uh, regular Sherman but we're gonna get to it. The penetration, 128mm, is, is exactly the same in both cases, the same in with the premium shells. Alpha damage the same, 160 mm, uh, 160 points. Rate of fire, 13.44 against 12.45, so rate of fire is slightly higher on Fury because of reload. Reload on Fury is 4.46 against 4.82 on a regular, Sh a regular Sherman, which means it's like 0.2 difference between those two tanks in advantage of uh, Fury tank. Uh, aiming time is another difference, 1.9 on Fury against 2.08 on uh, regular Sherman, which is also not not very significant difference, and mostly because of reload, we have that difference in DPM. Uh, another difference is here, power to weight ratio, because in uh, regular Sherman we have 19.16 uh, horsepower per ton, on the Sherman Fury we have 16.82 horsepower per ton, which is slightly lower, but uh, you don't feel that much difference on the, on the battlefield driving this this tank, so uh, it's not very significant difference. So basically, we have two pretty much similar tanks with uh, with where Fury has a slightly better DPM and slightly better uh, reload. According to the armor, there's also not much difference again uh, um, between between the Sherman Fury and uh, regular Sherman because, as you can see, this is the armor profile of a Fury tank, and it's not nothing so nothing surprising. There's 95 millimeters on the upper plate. It's the same like like in all Shermans. It basically, it's like like a regular Sherman. 184 millimeters on the lower plate. Here on the on the bottom, 122 and 149 because of of this of the shape of this uh, lower plate. In the turret, we have 107, 79 here on the side. On the top here, 247, and it's quite big uh, gun mantlet which covers most of the front of it, of, of this turret. A uh, weak point. On the top, as usual, is 61 millimeters in the commander's hatch, but it's not too big. And there is one in a significant thing, of course, like in the same like in the Sherman, there's huge, huge, huge uh, gun depression, which is 12 degrees. So if you use the tank with uh, 12 degrees of uh, uh, gun depression, you have still have 120 millimeters here. But if if you manage to cover that, you don't have any more. Uh, a weak spot on the top of the turret. Here, of course, the side of the turret they are still quite weak, but you know the, the shape of it may may be a little bit bouncy, and the front of the turret is completely un unpenetrable, so it's gonna bounce a lot. So you you can you can you can count on this. Uh, the other part of the tank, there is <laughs> the armor is completely completely uh, penetrable, and you have to have to cover it all the time. But this uh, gun depression gonna help you up to to find a, a good position because basically 12 degrees is a lot, so it's a huge advantage on every single map, every single position you can find a position where you can just uh, uh, 
make like a, like a peekaboo position to 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 give you know, to shot and then hide yourself and then show only the turret and then bounce bounce some shots on the side armor no no super no super armor of course as like a regular shema 38 millimeters here and 53 52 54 millimeters on the turret same like like all the shaman tanks in the game now on the back 39 there's 100 because it's, it's, it's angled, but here is 70, 52 millimeters, and 70 millimeters here. Just a regular, uh, like I said, a regular Sherman armor. So there's no surprises. Basically, it's like like a copy, like a copy of uh, regular Sherman, just slightly remodeled for uh, for a uh, tank, the, the, the movie tank. So if it is a good offer, well, let's take it this way. If you're a collector, if you're an extreme collector. And you want to get every single tank in the game? Yeah, this is a good opportunity for you uh, to buy Fury because it's uh, probably one of the most unique tanks in the game, and it's just an opportunity for you to to buy a tank for your collection. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the money-wise, in my opinion, no, it's not a good offer because 24 pounds or dollars is still too expensive. It's, it's way too expensive for tier six premium tank. It's still too much, even if it's uh, if it's a unique tank because. Uh, of course, it's exactly the same tank like like uh, regular Tech 3 EZ8. Of course, with with some some graphical modifications. But you know, if it's worth to pay, to pay 24 pounds for uh, for a graphic for for a skin, I don't think so. Uh, if you look for uh, parameters, of course, if you if you're looking for you don't care about the money and you're looking for a, a nice premium tank to play with good parameters, yes, it is a good tank because um, we have a very good gun one of the best guns on tier 6 to be honest and we have a quite interesting turret a really bouncy turret that uh, could be tricky to penetrate yeah in this case uh it is a good it, it might be a good uh, good tank to play of course i'm not saying it's a bad tank it's, it's a very good tank but still still too expensive so basically how to play this tank as always uh, in in the sherman cases just find some some places to to cover your hole to cover your hole to make a hold down and use your your uh, exceptional uh, gun depression to be as much you know as much covered as possible and deal the damage with your fantastic gun that's it so that's it for today thank you everyone for watching i hope you find this video useful and uh, informational if you would like to see any other tank reviews uh, you can browse the channel and find something for yourself of course if you like my materials you can subscribe the channel and stay tuned for incoming videos and uh, like i said that's it for today thanks everyone for coming and watching i hope you enjoy it and i hope i'm gonna see you next time meanwhile take care and goodbye